Hi, I'm Tom Fraber, Content Director for Aquatech Global Events. We're here for the final instalment of the Thought Leadership Series with the Pond Water Solutions. I'm about to go and meet HP Nanda, the Vice President, to find out about the recent acquisition activity, the development of membrane technology, as well as the future direction and strategy of the business. Hi, HP. Nice meeting you, Tom. How are you? Nice to see you. So, HP, in terms of where you see DuPont Water Solutions being positioned, how do you see it playing out in the, the global water market context? As the water technology component's global leader, we strongly believe science is global, but solutions are local. And as we look at the world today, the three pressing challenges we need to solve. Number one, how do we enable access of clean water for 7.3 billion people? Number two, how do we help the manufacturing industry do more with less? And last, how do we create a world that is clean because of zero liquid discharge or minimum liquid discharge? And as you look at these challenges, no one company, no one team, no one individual can do it. And we, uh, we have to work with customers, value chain partners, regulators, and the whole ecosystem to make this possible. And that's our mission, and we are going to play our part to make this happen. So HP, you recently uh, announced some big acquisitions with uh, Inga as well as Memcor. Tell us the reasoning behind those, those big acquisitions. Uh, we have been the global leader for reverse osmosis for a long time. We have been the global leader for ion exchange resin, get a very small business in ultra filtration. As we have been looking at the evolving needs of our customers, we realized we need to broaden our portfolio. Now acquiring the BASF Inga industry leading PES technology and the Memcore PVDF technology, it allows us to have more tools in our toolkit that will enable us to go and solve our customers' problem better. So HP, with those particular technologies, ultrafiltration, reverse osmosis, how do you see those technologies evolving and becoming more smarter or more digital? Uh, we keep hearing about industry 4.0, so almost every industry is undergoing digital revolution and we think the water space is exactly the same way. You keep hearing about smart metering, making everything smarter, so we are definitely going to figure out how to use technology and deploy them in our products so that they could be helping our customers probably have less cleaning, less chemicals, less replacement and operate at a much higher level of reliability and performance so that the overall ecosystem is much more efficient through technology. So in terms of where you see DuPont Water Solutions, how do you see in the future the company being strategically placed in the market? We strongly believe growth is the best way we can make an impact in the world. So we have to keep growing and uh, as we keep growing that would help us uh, invest more in manufacturing capacity, uh, invest more in innovation so that you could bring out more innovations faster, better and cheaper and also we have a whole world to cover. Currently we operate in 100 plus countries around the world and there are so many challenges. When we grow, we can really make meaningful impact uh, locally in many corners of the world. So that's our mission and we know this is a marathon, not a sprint. We have many miles to go.